My name is Jody McBrien. I'm an associate professor in the College of Education at USF Sarasota Manatee. And the courses that I teach are involve schools and society, so sociological foundations. And I also teach international perspectives of education. For whatever reason, I've been, my lifelong um, interest has been human rights and social justice. And so when I started my, my time at Emory, I discovered that there's a refugee, large refugee community, very short distance from Emory. So I started volunteering as an after school mentor for the refugee children and as a camp counselor in the summer. And it became my, my passion and the more I learned the stories of these children and families. And so my dissertation was about academic motivation and prejudice with refugee children. And I, one of the reasons I chose USF was because there's also a refugee community in the Tampa Bay area. Um, so I've been you know, consistently working in resettlement in terms of my research. From resettlement, I became quite interested in the whole story, and not just reading it in literature, but really understanding the experience in a refugee camp, um, repatriating after a war-torn country became peaceful. And so in recent years, what I've been extending from resettlement, I've spent uh, four years going to whoops, northern Uganda um, to work with repatriation of families after Joseph Kony and the Lord's Resistance Army finally left northern Uganda. And I've written a book with some of the women there, so we're in the process of publishing that. Um, and then the proceeds are going to girls' scholarships there, so we're, we want to follow that. I've also worked with um, comparative work in New Zealand for the past eight months. I had an Ian Axford Fellowship in public policy during my sabbatical. And so I worked with government on their new refugee resettlement strategy, traveled around the country, and um, that has made me want to be able to continue international comparative work because the differences and the similarities are fascinating and we could both learn a great deal from one another that way. People don't realize, I, I think because we're such a large country and we're such a powerful country, people don't think about other ways of living or being in community. And um, I've traveled extensively. I've been to every continent except for Antarctica and, um, so, and spent time with people. And so I've seen different ways of living, different ways of educating, different ways of um, valuing different structures in society. And that fascinates me. I love culture. I love countries. I love the languages. And I think it adds a real richness to my teaching in terms of helping students at USF, um, many of whom have not traveled much at all, uh, many of whom have never been out of the country and almost not out of the, the state or the region, to, to explore different scenarios of, of living because our students or their students in K-12 classrooms, uh, especially in Florida, are hugely diverse and they need to have some understanding. There's a, a real value in comparative education because where you can't just pull up a program or something and put it in another country because the contexts are so different, there is a tremendous amount that we can learn from one another. And um, when I was living in New Zealand, for instance, I introduced them to a program that started in the United States called Welcoming, Welcoming America that helps people in their communities um, come face to face with their own fears and their own prejudices and um, about refugees and immigrants. And um, it's been a very successful program here. So I brought that over there. Um, I hope to bring back to my work here the flexibility that they have in creating refugee programs that allow for more decision making on the part of refugees. And when I go to Africa, they welcome teacher development workshops. So that's something that I've brought there and I bring back from them the most amazing resilience and generosity that I've probably ever seen in the world. Bringing Ashley to Africa was just an amazing experience for me. She's such a talented 
student, as many of our students are, of course, um, but she had never been to Africa. And um, so I, we did some pre-class, you know, before we actually went, where I taught her something about qualitative research and helped her build a, a questionnaire protocol. And um, I worked to get her into a school, and she actually ended up staying with interns from Belgium and Germany, so she had that experience on top of it. And we followed one another in terms of what I was doing was a little bit different than what she was doing, so we weren't together all the time. Um, and then we talked about things that the experience evoked for her. One was race. She's black. And I said, what was it like to be in the majority? And she had really interesting observations about that and said it was really very comfortable. People mis you know, would mistake me for being Ugandan. And um, so I think it was really enlightening for her. And I'm hoping that in future years we have more and more students um, have the opportunity to go abroad because it's very enlightening for them and as well as for their instructors.